on in this evening, we've been celebrating the Feast of All Saints, the feast which commemorates all saints in heaven, whether or not they are kin. All saints in heaven, whether or not they are kin. And we stop and think about that today. <clears throat> it's important for us who reflect upon the lives of the saints to point out to our young people that the saints are those people who were trusted in God and were willing to offer themselves completely for the for the God for God's mercy and for the good of their souls. And so as they did that, so too we must pass that on to our children and those who are younger than us that what, what we need to do is to trust in God's mercy. When I started thinking about the saints, I said, well, I think everyone has a go-to saint, someone that they, they call upon when they need some help. If I'm reflecting upon what it means to be a good father or a good husband, I talk to St. Joseph. If I get into any trouble or if I lose anything, same thing. I drive that guy crazy. <laughs> but he's always there for me. And he's always willing to listen and to help and to bring me along. And so now we have the fact that well, the saints indeed are there to help us and to be the light in the darkness for us as we travel through our lives. Another thing I began to think about today was, did you ever have this saint? Have you thought about that? Have you ever hugged a saint? Don't forget, it's all saints. And I thought about where I hugged a saint. Just before my mother went home to God, I was able to give her a big hug. And to tell her that I was there with her, and I bet you've had the same experience some of you know, okay, that has gone before us in our deep walking with the saints. And as they walk with the saints, they're watching over us. Sometimes, quite often, I pray for those saints because they know me personally as a son, as a brother, as a husband. They know me. And so that's what we're called to do, to go to the saints and ask them to guide us and direct us in our lives. But one of the questions comes up is this. What's the route that we take to have all of this happen? That we might develop our trust in Jesus Christ and to know that he's going to be with us and he's going to direct us to the Father for all eternity. And what came to mind was a reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 1 through 6. Deacon Lee has read it probably about a thousand times. Father Mike, not so much because he's new. <laughs> and it goes like this Jesus said to his disciples do not let your hearts be troubled you have faith in God and faith also in me in my father's house there are many dwelling places if it were not that I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come back and take it to myself so that where I am you also may be you know the way that leads to where I go. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where we're going, we have, we know the way. But Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's what we need to focus on in this whole the state of all saints, is the fact that the Lord has promised that he would come to take us and bring us home. If we are faithful to him, the Father, and allow the Spirit to have. And so that's just a little something to think about on this All Saints Day. Thanks for sharing the gospel with me today. <laughs>